Black International Congress and the Women's Freedom Liberation League. Black Cross nurses in this time. Royal Ethiopian damsels. We'd like to present. I got this right now. My love. First, this is your love of course. There's big stone. Yeah. See it with the heavens, yeah. I say. These are all so oh, okay. this is a black of the black tiger. Yes, yes. This is my mm, wonderful. All these can just go on your desk. Yes. Or wherever it suits you. Yes. Okay, this is our dream. Mm. Black starlight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fulfillment of our dream truth. Um, mm -hmm. Transportation going home. Wonderful. Well, whether by here or by sea, yes. repatriation is a must. It's a must. Mm -hmm. Yes, my love. Mm -hmm. It's a must. Yes, love. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, every year, you know, at this time, we were sent out a, a pamphlet. Yes, so yeah. the public, the yeah. masses, mm -hmm. you know, remind them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. them of the words of Marcus Garvey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are all books, you know, mm -hmm. literature. Because you know you are at Jerusalem School. Mm -hmm. This is where I and I school. Mm -hmm. So on behalf of I and I, Artfield Thompson loves having you here, my love. Wonderful. Do accept. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we have Honorable Prophet Greg would also like to make a presentation, my love. Yes. Love it. Prophet. Oh, wow. It's a great privilege to so, uh, meet you mm -hmm. um, in the flesh. And for one who is the son of the illustrious great man who became out of the womb of a woman to be the great prophet for mm -hmm. I and I in this time, to mm -hmm. so, light the way for all Africans, even as how it has been prophesied that the Almighty would have sent Elijah forth to come forward again to fulfill his work before the great and terrible day, which we know is at hand. So we do give thanks for the moment, and it's indeed a pleasure to be here and presenting this on behalf of Rastafari Nation and on behalf of the Congress. Blessed love, my Lord. Well, I'd like to say thank you so much for your very warm uh, welcome. It's a welcome that's, that's spiritual, and it's a welcome that's physical, and it's a welcome that's also mental. So it's a complete welcome, and I do feel blessed to be the son of my father. I do feel blessed to be the son of the prophet. I do feel blessed to be here among you, his people, who have recognized him as a prophet. And that is of extreme importance. Because it has a great meaning to me, it has a great meaning to him, and it has a great meaning to the future of all black people. And it's indeed wonderful when people of like mind yes. and like history and like culture mm -hmm. can come together mm. on an occasion such as this in community to celebrate each other, to celebrate our leaders, mm. to celebrate our prophets, mm. and to celebrate those who we worship. Yes. And then to carry on that legacy. Because it's up to us to carry on that legacy. Mm -hmm. While they are here in spirit, we are here in the physical form, on the physical planet Earth. Yeah. So the spirit can only work through us. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why we are here, for the spirit to use us. Mm -hmm. So we must communicate with that spirit mm -hmm. and take the message from the, the messengers. Yes. Take that message forward. Yes. Because this is the wisdom of the ages. This is the African wisdom, which is the original wisdom. 
going all the way back to Ethiopia mm. and Egypt, the first human beings, and therefore the first understanding of self and of planet Earth. And that is what has been transmitted down to us. There is no wisdom.